Welcome back, everyone, to this Let's Play of Sonic Generations, starring yours truly. Now, I was recording, but I had some technical difficulties, so, uh, I already got this, um, I already rang the bell when I got the song Splash Hill Zone. Let's do one mission of, uh, Sky, excuse me, Sky Sanctuary. And let's get that last key. Whoops, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to get the key. My mistake. Let me go get it quickly. There's a mission where you can get the bubble shield, but I'll do that in between missions. We have justice. There we go. Now let's do the mission. Speed pass, what are they doing there? Relax, I'm just playing with you guys. Can't anyone take a joke? Hmm. Oh no, should I do the doppelganger mission? Hmm. Maybe later. Oh, what the hell. Let's see if I can beat Miss Rose. Topsy Turvy. Race against Amy while riding on a spinning top and beard to the goal. It was strange. I actually skipped the spinning top in that uh, when I played. Whoop. Whoop. Be... Yeah, that's the secret how to get some extra speed really quick. The spin dash. A lot of people really hate this mission. And I can see why. It's pretty annoying. I'm getting where this remix came from. Oops. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Moving slow because, well, whoops. You guess it, there's a spinny top here. Whoa! Whoops! Here, gonna watch out for those things. Seriously, you guys, watch out for those things. Maybe, oh, I gotta be careful here. Careful, careful. Oh, oh I barely missed it. I think I'm gonna schedule. Well, I'm not gonna get every single S ring on it. There we go! No, I don't want to try again. And there's all the missions. Sky Sanctuary. I might have to adjust my camera again. I'm going to skip this part. There. There we go. See, you can get artwork and oh, that's Spore. You see what that is? Whoa, whoa I'm not going. Here, I'm not going without my key. The song I was just playing was um, yeah, it was the, it was the um, Death Egg. Oh, and for those who pre-ordered the game or was going to get the um, get this for DLC pretty soon, this is the pinball level. I'll show this in a different video. Now we get to face. We get to face the. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoops, I almost forgot. I almost forgot one little teeny thing before we get to the boss. Rival race. And look who it is. Face me if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. Okay, that was a poor imitation, but oh well. I love this music here. And I love this stage. Why? Because it's Metal fucking Sonic! Metal Sonic! He's awesome! Oh, um, he's... I think I heard... Well, of course it's been confirmed that he'll appear in Sonic 4 Episode 2. I mean, who hasn't seen the spoiler ending? <laughs> I know, my Sonic voice sucks. Maybe I'll get to voicing Eggman. 
I think I could do a pretty good impression. I've been recording some lines for Eggman recently. This is going to be tricky. Yeah! Yes, you can hit it if you time it. He's charging, but he's still vulnerable. And next up, he's going to try to knock some lampposts at you. Move back, move back. Whoa, Nelly. If you charge up too long, you're going to get... Uh... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Move, 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 move. Move, Sonic, move. He's not going to stay like that forever. As you've probably seen in some preview clips. And, knock on his head, and that's the end of Metal Sonic. That's the end of that scrap metal. There's an achievement called Scrap Metal if you beat Metal Sonic. But, I already got it. First try. Okay, I think I got some time for the boss and a cutscene and get some skills. I'm not, I'm not gonna show every single mission on here. Hey, guess I'm gonna... The purple one? What's gonna be the purple one? Shout out to Christopher Brown 1988 there. Legends say collecting all seven will cause a mysterious power to emerge. Hmm. Super Sonic. Now... Oh, I almost forgot. There is a way you can you can get into this cutscene for the Death Egg boss. Classic and modern. I'm going to show classic. I might be able to show modern in a different video. And there's the gate. To the Death Egg. Now, I want to just... Now let's go face off against this Death Day rope. Of course, we have a cutscene. And we have two versions of this cutscene. Classic and modern, like I said before. And here's the classic. I love this cutscene. Because this type of thing where it's like, they think it's a mirror. This whole idea isn't new, but it's still pretty I still love this cutscene. Classic doesn't even mutter a single single word. Excuse me. Take a good look at yourself, Sonic. Doctor Eggman. Eggman. It's the last look you get before I close your eyes forever. <laughs> really? Modern Sonic just sits, just stands there like, oh. Classic just goes to And of course, that was mentioned in the Brain Scratch comms. A shout out to you guys. Big fan of you guys. Hmm, looks like there can only be one Sonic. Reference to Sonic OVA. It's not like we don't know Oma Chow. And, never mind, never mind. Let's just get this out of the way. Death Egg, is it the Sonic 3 and Knuckles kind? No, it's the Sonic 2. Oh, well, could... It could have been worse. We could have just not gotten it all. And whoa, look at that. It looks... It looks so unsurprised. It's just like a Solaris Paradox and it's in the first Brain Scratch Com Skype chat. It's almost like Sonic Team took a wand and just magically turned into 3D. This is how you beat it. You can't... You can't hit it from there. You gotta... You gotta... You gotta kick his ass, so to speak. I love this music. And I know I've said it before, but the music is awesome. A few tunes don't really connect with me that much, but... Maybe it's because I haven't really seen a lot of the footage. Oh well. 
The music's still awesome, nevertheless. This is... Here's how you actually... Here's, uh, whoa! No. That's what happens if you stand there too long. And, and of course, to beat him, you gotta hop on his head. There we go. Wait, wait for it. Wait, wait. And that's it. That's the end of the Death Egg Robot. But unfortunately, the explosion does not destroy the Death Egg like in Sonic 2. Or in Sonic 3 Knuckles. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little sleepy here. I've been practicing this for so long, I got S ranks on every single level. Well, I'll get S rank pretty soon on the other level I missed. Cutscene! This cutscene looks a lot better than the other ones. My only gripe with this is that. The Tiny Eater theme is played through whenever you see Tiny Eater. It gets kind of repetitive. It's not a bad theme, though. It just gets a little repetitive after a while. Notice we don't see Eggman. Which Eggman is it? It's Classic Robotic, though we won't be able to see him until the end. Another cutscene. I don't really like this cutscene too much. And it's the introduction of Classic Tales. The two Sonics meet. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Classic Tales' voice kind of annoyed me when I first heard it. Maybe that was intentional Places or... Enemies I don't from know. Our past. You think? How did this happen? Um, the time meter? It's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped Well, Eggman. Classic Tales' voice has always been I'm annoying. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Well, at least the model is spot on. Like, mo not modern, Classic's on it. And there he is. Well, we only get to see him for a few seconds. What are you doing? Trying to scare him? Where did it go? Who I knows? Need to find that thing and fast. You know, when Classic Sonic was revealed in the uh, the teaser, a lot of people were saying, "Wait a minute, why does Classic Sonic have buckles?" I'm humble. I, I reacted to that, but it was only but a little bit, like a very like a split second after. I was like, "Oh yeah, he did have buckles." Oh, we actually can go to the Dreamcast era. Even though Seaside Hill wasn't technically on the Dreamcast. Ah, the Green Emerald. Anyway, like I was saying, when they, show, when they showed the teaser on April 7th, I actually was really not so interested until they showed Classic Sonic. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, wait, why are you Classic Sonic in bottles? And a short very short time later like oh yeah he did have buckles so yeah. why do you have buckles oh he always, he always had buckles I, I remembered seeing a picture from way back then with classic Sonic having buckles let's see do I want to go explore um, speed highway look at skills so well, let's go for the skills and I'll just call it a, call it a night the first, blah 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 blah. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to wrap this up real quick. I don't have much time. See, this, there's the skills you can get. A lot of skills. See, second genesis controller, but we're not getting that right now. Let's get the cheap ones first. 
Well, that's a good for the easy one. Hmm. I can't afford that. I'll just get this and, uh... Hmm. Well, wait, 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 wait. I, uh... Here's, here's what you do with the, um... Here's what you do when you customize. Pretty sure a lot of people know this, but I'll show it anyway. Hmm. This is pretty much what you do. You stop on a dime regardless of your speed. Oh, sure, that's a good one. Yeah, that'd be good. Athleticism, what does it do? It improves physics. Gee, I guess I, uh... Hmm. Do I really need the 10 second rings? Ah, let's go for the shield. Let's just do that. Okay, that wraps it up for this part of Let's Play Sonic Generations. This is Fire Freak 87, signing out. See ya.